What's going on guys, it's Pixelated and today we are going to be looking at Under Armour's latest offering in the basketball sneakers department. We're taking a super close look at the Steph Curry 6 Fox Theater. The actual release date of the shoe was Friday, January 4th, so well... Hurry up and go check Under Armour's site or your closest local retailer of basketball sneakers to go get them. I'll leave a link in the description for you to find them, but before you do that, let's get into the mix and find out just what they packed into this bad boy. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Pixelated, that's at P-I-C-S-O-L-E-A-T-E-D for fire sneaker content, giveaways, and to be part of the pick spam. Getting into the shoe, this Curry 6 isn't just a fresh new silhouette. This colorway has a bit of a backstory to it. The name of the colorway Fox Theater isn't just a random name given to this shoe. In fact, it is actually an ode to an iconic landmark in the city of Oakland, which goes by the same name. The Fox Theater reopened in 2009 in Oakland as a creative hub of sorts, the same year Steph Curry signed to the Golden State Warriors. Now it is known as a representation of Oakland's past and its current and future state, which is why it's so significant. It's always noticeable with its bright neon lit signage during the nighttime, so this is why this sneaker is a call out to that part of Oakland and Steph Curry's story. The shoe's upper is made of several materials. Being that it's a basketball sneaker, it comes as no surprise that even the bottom half of the shoe houses multiple different technologies too. The upper of this shoe is primarily black with hits of bright orange and green. This could be seen as a call out to the bright neon lights of the Fox Theater shining in the nighttime. It's a one piece all black upper made of this fused knit material that's fortified from inside but still soft to the touch and feel. The toe box and mid lace eyelets of the shoe are reinforced with a second layer of fuse that has some sort of reflective property, not like 3M, but whatever it is, I like it. The laces are all black, thin laces with neon green lace tips with the text, The Town, on them referencing the Fox Theater and Oakland once again. We see the same reference on the insole in the number 10 because 2019 essentially marks the 10th anniversary of Steph Curry signing to the Warriors. The tongue of the shoe has a small black leather patch with UA branding and the numbers 30 and 6 on them, Curry's on-court number and the number 6 because because it's the Curry 6 of course, with a bright neon green pull tab running through it, which I'm extremely grateful for. No shoe should go without a pull tab in my opinion. Except for the classic ones, they, they look kind of weird now if you put them on there. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. The shoe's laces run through this bright orange loop that circles around the entire booty of the shoe. Pretty much what this means is when you yank your laces to tighten the shoe, it subsequently yanks on the orange loop to tighten the rest of the shoe going around the back to provide a more secure hug onto your foot. This is a great feature and addition to the shoe. The inside of the shoe's heel is very nicely padded. Moving on to the bottom, herein lies the great surprise and upgrade to Curry's sneakers in my opinion. Starting off, we have this super flat neon green translucent rubber outsole. Now typically outsoles this flat are known to not have good traction on dusty floors but this outsole does have these wider gap grooves that people seem to have forgot about and I think that'll definitely help with maintaining some sort of traction and you'll still be able to pull off sharp cuts and turns. On a looks basis alone though I love the way this outsole pops because of that color and translucent rubber. We have this speed plate mostly hidden smack dab in the middle of the outsole and midsole with parts sticking out on the lateral midsole portion and on the bottom. It pretty much helps you keep your balance and prevents your foot from rolling over it like a torsion plate. And once again, I love that translucent neon green look. Finally, the big cojona, the key ingredient, the masterpiece, the big reveal. Okay, we indeed have a full length hover midsole on this shoe. It comes in an all black to neon red gradient with the oh so appealing mesh netting to withhold the masterful hover foam from getting too out of control. Now a lot of people mentioned Curry loved to get as close to the ground as possible when shooting and that hover would prevent him from getting that ground feel, but honestly I don't think it gets rid of it too much. I feel like the flat outsole helps make it feel like you're still close to the ground. Don't get me wrong, the feel of these shoes on feet is still great. The upper of the shoe is hella soft but still sturdy. It feels like a basketball shoe but still comfortable. The upper is a joy to feel on foot. The midsole provides cushioning but it's not overbearing and doesn't feel cushy to the point that I don't feel like I'm on the ground. It's definitely more refined than the Under Armour Hover Phantom which before this was my favorite hover shoe from Under Armour. As for sizing, the shoe fits perfectly true to size. I'm a wide foot and as a snug ball shoe, they fit perfectly, no issues whatsoever. You'll be fine going true to size no matter what. That's a guarantee. Okay, no it's not because I can't reimburse you in any way if you're not, but yeah, trust me, true to size is fine. You'll be fine with true to size. Now, is this Under Armour's best basketball shoe yet? 
Honestly, I can't give you a fully straight answer simply because I have not tried all their basketball shoes, such as the Hover Havoc and what have you. But from trying the Curry 5s, I can't say without a doubt that the Curry 6 is a severely significant improvement. Not only is the upper softer, it's actually a joy to feel on foot while still being snug the way a basketball shoe should be. The padding on the heel works wonders for comfort and lockdown. And finally, the addition of the full length Hover unit is more than I can ask for in a basketball shoe. It's actually very shock absorbent while still being firm enough to provide great traction on the court. Now I can't prove this to you and I can't do a performance review for you because I haven't worn these on the court right now, but based on what I can tell those are the results you will get. So yes, these are Under Armour's greatest basketball shoes in my eyes and the best curries yet. Would I prefer a better colorway? Possibly because I prefer uppers not to be predominantly black, but that's just a personal preference. This colorway is still sick to me and has a cool story behind it, plus those neon hits really pop in photos and in real life. What do you guys think? Did Under Armour just come out with the sickest ball sneaker or are you not a fan? Let me know in the comments. Catch you later. Pixelated is about to hit the town.